11 historical facts you probably didn't know about the Hail Mary, but should know. 1. A devotion to the Hail Mary prayer can be traced to the 1100s. Abbot Baldwin, the Archbishop of Canterbury in 1184 wrote about a devotion to the Hail Mary prayer, and said, to this salutation of the angel, by which we daily greet the most blessed virgin, with such devotion as we may, we are accustomed to add the words, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, by which clause Elizabeth at a later time, on hearing the virgin's salutation to her, caught up and completed, as it were the angel's words, saying, Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. 2. The Hail Mary started out as a greeting among Christians. In addition to using the words of the Hail Mary as a greeting, many Christians would show a sign of reverence at her name. Saint Abert in the 1100s was said to say 150 Hail Mary prayers every day, which was accompanied by 100 genuflections. 3. During the Protestant Reformation, devotion to the Hail Mary was only a private practice. During the Reformation, many opponents of the Catholic Church accused Catholics that, their recitation of the Hail Mary was not a prayer because it was not a petition but simply a greeting. The Hail Mary was then recited privately, and many of those who said it, would add the words, Ventris Tui Jesus, onto the end of the prayer as well. 4. The Hail Mary as we know it can be found in books from the 1400s. Dominican reformer Girolamo Savonarola, wrote a piece in 1495 that contained the entire Hail Mary except the word Nostre. There is currently a copy of this work in the British Museum. 5. In Ireland, some Catholics end with the word, Jesus. Some Irish Catholics only pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. When given the Hail Mary for penance, clarification is needed for some if they should also say the Holy Mary as well. 6. 100 years ago, the words of the Hail Mary were a little bit different. Catholics today say Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. But that is a recent development, as it was common practice to say Hail Mary, full of grace, our Lord is with thee. Cardinal Wise Menon, was one Catholic voice who strongly wished Catholics to return to the formerly practiced wording. 7. The Hail Mary is especially powerful during our last minutes here on earth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. There is no greater companion to have alongside us, during our journey into the next life than Mary, the Mother of God. 8. The Saints are huge fans of the Hail Mary prayer. Saint Jerome once wrote, The truths contained in the Hail Mary are so sublime, so wonderful that no man or angel could fully understand them. Saint Thomas Aquinas, a great doctor of the Church once preached only on the Hail Mary prayer for 40 days straight. 9. Praying the Hail Mary helps us to trust Mary more. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. By asking Mary to pray for us, we acknowledge ourselves to be poor sinners, and we address ourselves to the Mother of Mercy, the All-Holy One. We give ourselves over to her now, in the today of our lives. And our trust broadens further, already at the present moment to surrender the hour of our death, wholly to her care. 10. The prayer of the Church is sustained by the prayers of Mary. We can pray with, and to Mary. The prayer of the Church is sustained by the prayer of Mary and united with it in hope. 11. The words of the Hail Mary are founded in Scripture. Saint Elizabeth and the angel Gabriel tag team for a majority of the words of the Hail Mary. Pray with the saints and angels to our blessed mother today. 
Please don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. God bless you.